Welcome to Leesburg Today's Daily Update for December 9th. I'm Samantha Bartram. Some unusual discoveries were made at Dulles Airport last week. Customs and Border Protection agriculture specialists came across a strange collection of animal parts and plant materials during the December 3rd inspection of a suitcase belonging to a passenger from Ghana. According to authorities, the items included bed sheets contaminated with chicken blood, one gennet skin, two elephant tails, five chicken feathers, one dried hedgehog, two dried chameleons, grass pea and seed pods, tree bark chips, soil and a water jug containing soil, herbs and blood. Agents seized and destroyed the passengers' possessions because of their potential threat to U.S. agriculture. The only items not burned were two elephant tails, which were seized by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service as they represent a violation of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, as well as other U.S. regulations. While the contents of the suitcase found Friday was unusual, the discovery of illegal flora and fauna is not. CBP agriculture specialists inspected nearly 185,000 travelers and intercepted nearly 31,000 prohibited insects, plant, and animal products last year alone. According to the CBP, on a typical day, agriculture specialists across the country inspect tens of thousands of international air passengers and air and sea cargo being imported to the United States and seize more than 4,000 prohibited plant or animal products including several hundred insect pests. A majority of the County Planning Commission has backed a plan to put an urban-style mixed-use development along Route 28 next to the border of Fairfax County and neighboring the Dulles Toll Road. After a series of work sessions, five members of the panel cast their votes this week in favor of Dulles World Center. Three commissioners opposed the project, reiterating their position against allowing any residential development in the corridor. The almost 100-acre property was originally planned to accommodate almost 1,500 multifamily units, but the developer voluntarily dropped the number to 1,265 after meeting with commissioners. The project also includes slightly more than 3.9 million square feet of office, commercial, and retail uses, and more than 130,000 square feet of civic uses. Nodding to requests from the commissioners, the developer has agreed to make a monetary contribution for parks and recreation to the tune of around $300,000. The interchange to access the development from Route 28 will be constructed prior to the first occupancy permit, and the extension of Shaw Road will occur before for the first occupancy permit in the second phase. Residential development would not be allowed until the second and third phase of construction. Last night's informational meeting on redistricting drew about two, th- two dozen people to the Cascades Library. Questions were raised about how next year's changes to district lines would affect precincts, the timeline for such changes, and whether staff would be able to handle the workload. County staff is planning to present supervisors with some proposed alternatives early next year. All changes to district lines would need to be submitted to the Department of Justice by May, meaning that next year's primaries could be shifted to late summer or early fall. To track any and all updates regarding redistricting, visit loudon.gov backslash redistricting. Finally, and perhaps unfortunately, it will soon be a bit more expensive to commute via the Dulles Toll Road. Effective January 1st, toll rates will increase by 25 cents at the main toll plaza to a total of $1.25. Toll rates on the on-off ramps will remain at 75 cents. The toll increase is the second of three approved by the Metropolitan Washington Airports Authority last November. A toll rate increase took effect at the beginning of this year, and the last increase will take place January 1st of 2012. Authorities say the increases are necessary to fund the construction of the Dulles Corridor Metrorail project and also to pay for the operation of the toll road, which came under the control of the airport's authority last year. For more information about the toll road, visit mwaa.com backslash toll road. For more on these and other stories around our community, visit us online at leesburgtoday.com.